What's going on YouTube? West Hobbies RC. So first I wanted to say thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. So I figured for 500 subscribers, I'm going to do a tour and a go walkthrough of my hangar. Now I will start by saying this is a one car garage and I will pan around and I have it as packed as you can possibly have it. So we are going to start at the very back and work our way forward. So we'll start with the bottom first. So I've had people ask how I hang my airplanes, how I store my airplanes. So I built two by uh, eight racks with one by uh, fours coming out as standoffs with pool noodles to hold all the aircraft. So, and then two by fours tripled up all the way back. Everything is freestanding. So we'll start at the bottom. So down here we have a Great Plains or a Tower Hobbies Crazy Wing. Uh, which is gonna get redone soon. And then we have a scratch built diamond dust nitro with a KNB 7.5. Then we have a Balsa USA A7 nitro Corsair prop jet with a 32SX. And then we have a Great Plains Proud Bird with the Rimfire 46 6S 165-ish mile an hour airplane. Then we have, of course, the E-Flight Timber X. And then we have the E-Flight EC 1500. And we have my favorite of all is the E-Flight Havoc XE. And then we have the Diablo, which I love. And then my favorite fiberglass jet is the Haboo 32, 8S, incredible aircraft. And then we have my prized possession is the Saab Tortuga. And then up here, we have a CY Models LA-7. We have a old SAPAC 100 millimeter T45 composite. Then we have a World Models Pylon Spitfire, which you guys will see the video on soon. And then we have the Phoenix Models Strega, which you guys have already seen. And then going over here, we have a Hangar, or yeah, it's a Hangar 9 PT-19. Uh, that aircraft I've owned and had for almost my entire life. My grandfather built that airplane from a wrecked airplane when I was a real young kid. So it kind of just hangs in the rafters and it doesn't get flown much. And we have a scratch built clipped wing P-51. We have one of my old pylon racers. We have a Hangar 9 60 size Corsair. The fuselage for a, hangar, or for a Great Plains Cosmic Wind. The wing, we have a Great Plains GB. Great Plains 40 size stick, and then the wings all get sat over here. Got a Royal B-17, ESN KI-84 wing, and so on and so forth. And then we have on the rack, E-Flight Deuces Wild, recovered in a military scheme. Of course, the one-of-a-kind Spitfire. We have a SAPAC 100, or no, a SAPAC T-45 70 millimeter fiberglass. This is a scratch-built little airplane called the uh, Microjet. And then we have not one, but two uh, micro jets made by Multiplex. These are original. This one I just built. That one back there is super old, about 16 years or so old. And then we have, of course, the Sig Wonder that you guys seen on the channel. We have the wing for this SAPAC T45. So I have two SAPAC T45 70 mils, a SAPAC 100 mil. This is a Hobby King Lancaster foamy. So then we go back down here. So of course, SAPAC 245. And then we have a, a uh, made by laser. It was called the Arrow. It's a Delta wing. And then we have a diamond dust that I started building and converting to electric. Then down here, we have a Great Plains rifle one meter, 6S, stupid fast. We have the Great Plains combat Spitfire, which you guys have seen a video on. Down here, we have a CY Models uh, 163 Comet, sold by Texas RC, awesome airplane. We have the Speed Shark, which you guys have already seen. And then down here, we have the wing for the stick. These are the wings halves for my mis one Mosquito. This is the wing for another Mosquito. This Mosquito is a CNP composite Mosquito. And this Mosquito is from the uh, Seagull Models Mosquito. We're running GMS 120s on it. Just got to put the mufflers on and it'll be ready to fly. And then we start over here. We'll start from the bottom. This is a scratch-built F-15. My grandfather built this airplane years and years ago from a set of plans that he blew up. It had a nitro engine on the back as a pusher. I was going to convert it to electric and we haven't got that far. But it's an awesome little airplane. Retracts everything. 
And then we have the GLH, that bigger, better, stronger, faster. And then we have a old uh, Midget Mustang. Great little airplane. We have the Royal B-17 fuselage here. Uh, this is some little vertical takeoff thing my dad bought me as a birthday present one year. It's super fun, great little airplane. And then down here we have the twin Mustang, the F-82 from World Models, been recovered, got KMB-61s on it, great airplane. We have a brand new HET Super Sniper 70 millimeter, uh, Willie Nelly's little Delta 250. This is that old Kurosho Mirage that you guys seen on the channel. And then we have the wing for a little uh, pylon composite F5D style airplane, the E-Flight Pits, E-Flight UMX P47. This is a buddy of mine's. And then we have the cowling that I made, all fiberglass one-time mold for this, which is a version of the uh, Magnum R. That's another canopy for the HET Super Sniper. This is a ESM Hurricane. 80 inch hurricane and then up here we have the fuselage for the the uh e, the cmp mosquito sorry and then we have the fuselage back here for the seagull mosquito and we have the willy nelly glh 250 we have my extremely stupidly fast fully fiberglass fun jet that is being in the middle of being repainted some body work got to be repainted we have the e-flight mini ultra stick that you've guys seen on the channel this is a aircraft that my grandfather built for my daughter it was actually the airplane that my grandpa built for me when i was young and learned how to fly it's made it's called a sparrow awesome little airplane and then that is a the me 109z that you guys seen on the channel that was built off of a set of plans for a regular 109 made it into a 109z and then up here we have the wing for that ESM Hurricane you've seen on the shelf. We have another brand new ESM Hurricane. Then we have a ESM KI-84. We have a Seagull GB. And then we have the fuselage for a, another Strega that is going to be on the channel soon that we're going to build into something extremely cool, electric pylon. Uh, we have a little Telemaster my grandpa built me when I was young and I still kept it around. And then we have the wing up there for the big safe pack T100 millimeter T45. We have the uh, wings for the Stregas up there as well. Down here we have yet another safe pack T45 70 mil. I love safe pack T45s. I love, they're just my, one of my favorite, probably my all time favorite jet is a T45 and the safe packs. I love them. I have five total. And then this is a fuselage and I'm in the middle of priming. For these little airplanes that we're building on F80, I'm building two of them. And then I just purchased this, which is another Multiplex Funjet Ultra, brand new in the box. I have another one brand new in the box, and I got two, plus the one on the shelf. This is my little woodworking area, 3D printer, uh, parts wall. This has all my helicopter parts on it. It has everything I use, my soldering guns, some of my Ryobi tools. Uh, down here are bins for electric motors and speed controllers. Just some of the stuff, and then the bottom one is props. So if you open this up, those are all brand new motors, speed controllers, fan units, just a little bit of everything in there. And then this one is just full of props, same thing. And then we have all the regular woodworking tools down here. I have my Ryobi bandsaw uh, on the shelf couple older radios some of the helicopters up here just wheel pants for the other gb spare struts for the havoc There's all kinds of helicopter and airplane parts stickers stuff like that and then i got my sander which my grandfather built over 25 years or so ago maybe longer maybe a little less but i ended up taking that from him he doesn't use it anymore and i used it ever since i was a kid so i had to have it and then I got my grinder, which is super old, but came from a really good friend of mine who passed away. So I'm going to end up redoing that and just making it nice and new again. Then I have my charge cabinet. So this is a all metal with a granite top charge cabinet or, char or cabinet that I'm using as a charge cabinet. I have my high tech X4 on here. This is the charger I use for all my house charging. And then I have a Thunder Power 2 port that I use for the fuel charging. But in here is where I store all my batteries which I have quite a few of them. 
and then I have a fire extinguisher directly above my charge cabinet. And then this is just uh, back there. I got some boxes of stuff from when I moved. Still not unpacked, but this is my field charger, my radio case, another helicopter that I have. Uh, those are just bins full of screws and parts and connectors and stuff like that. And then up here, that box is, you know, got Monaco and a couple plane kits, more just parts more parts uh that's more my whole thing down there is full of retracts and that is the cowling for my 42 percent nemesis that is the cowling for a spit or a zero that i would like to build jerry bates and then we have the helicopters so we have my blade 230s v2 we have my blade 300 cfx which is actually uh was a present for my grandfather for a birthday present or christmas present about seven eight years ago eight years ago uh and that's the helicopter that really got me into flying 3d and really progressed a lot with this thing so it'll always stay around i do not fly it much anymore parts are hard to get but i just like it i love that little helicopter it's gotta stay around and then we got my blade fusion 270 we got my t-rex 470 lm t-rex 500 dfc t-rex 550 dfc v3 we have my t-rex 600 nitro which is about to come to the channel very soon for a full rebuild, new engine, completely gone through, converted the DF, uh, DFC, it was an old Nitro fly bar heli. And then we have, of course, the prized helicopter, the T-Rex 760X. Now, I've had people ask how I hang these helicopters or how I store them. This is a 2x4. I ran it across, braced it in that corner, ran it off of this 2x4. I drilled, I measured and drilled holes for the skids and uh, drill them down so that way the skids slide in to the two by four. And then on the bottom, just so I don't mark up the wall, I got little pieces of uh, foam stuff behind the skids. But then up here is a loft that I built that goes from that wall straight across to this rack. So right there is where I store all of my wings, uh, GB wings, all the aircraft wings I have. Uh, these wings are for a very special project that you guys will be seeing pretty soon uh the aircraft is actually the main part of the aircraft fuselage is not here uh those are some things that i started that is a horton 229 that i started building and that was just some little delta wing that i started i was going to put an edf on and of course the wings go across and then we have my table that you guys have seen for all the build videos repair videos everything that goes down on this table uh, we have my little mess of a tools area. This is where I keep all my tools while I'm building, screwdrivers, sockets. It's a total disaster. But this is all the tools that I use every aircraft that I build. Sanding stuff, all my fiberglass and servo connecting stuff and so on. Monocoat iron, Dremel. This is all just random uh, swash plate levelers. And then in here's all my like brand new receivers and different servos and all that kind of stuff. Brand new servos, just my little parts stash. And it just goes on with some random stuff down there, heat shrink and so on. So this is the exact hangar. This is the garage. This is where I store everything. I spend a lot of my time. Oh, I forgot up there is a uh, Great Plains Combat Corsair. I love the Great Plains Combat series. It's fantastic. It's just something that I like. So I have a ton of airplanes. Ton of airplanes. This whole wall is filled. I don't have enough rack space or garage space because I still like to keep this open so I can still move around and do things. But uh, I'll be getting a much bigger place hopefully soon. So when I build my dream hangar garage out, all this will be able to be displayed much nicer and look so much cooler and then there's one more area of the garage so just to give you a little overview of all the airplanes it's very overwhelming there is a ton if you guys want to see any particular video on a particular aircraft or helicopter please let me know and i will let me know in the comments and i will do a video on that so if you want to see more about the 163 comet or the deuces wild or the diablo or whatever any of the aircraft you've seen let me know in the comments below and I will do a separate video. Oh, and then this is another say pack. This is a L39 that I gave a good buddy of mine, Ed. I gave this aircraft to him. He has flown it a couple times. It was the first EDF. Uh, rudder ended up getting broken. So we repaired the rudder and then he decided, you know, it's old, all the coverings peeling off. So then I said, hey, let's peel the covering. Let's fiberglass it and let's completely change the color scheme and let's make it into something nice. So. 
as soon as the one-of-a-kind videos are done, which are almost finished, we will be starting on this project. So that is the next project, is to redo a composite EDF jet. There's one more thing. There's this room. So this is a closet. As you can see, it has a super old calendar, but the B-17 bomber is my favorite warbird. So I just kept it up for the picture. Of course, we have what Jeff Mayo made me, which incredible work he did, and I'll keep it proudly displayed. Got the West Hobbies, got some pictures, got some airplanes, but this closet is a storage room and it is filled to the top. I can't put anything else in here. So we have a brand new Nitro Kyosho F86 ducted fan Sabre Jet. So it is actually a Nitro ducted fan in this thing. I am trying to decide if I should build it and try the Nitro ducted fan, if we should make it EDF. If you guys want to see this thing try to fly the Nitro, let me know and we'll do it. We have a brand new top flight DC-3 kit. And then this is another F-15 that I started building. This is another one that I started building from a set of Gillow plans that I blew up. This F-15 is actually a bigger version of that little white one that I showed you before. That one. So I took my grandfather's plans that he blew up even bigger, started building this one. But it is not scale and I want to make a nice twin scale EDF jet or F-15 jet, so that is a project that is coming very soon. It's in the works right now. We will be scratch building a F-15 from scratch, ball supply build, fiberglass, all that good stuff. We have a Cub. as another airplane my grandpa built me many, many years ago, and I'm gonna redo it sooner or later. This is an old F-86, completely scaled out, prop jet built from some RCM plans. We have nitro fuel gallons all down there. We have a Sig Hummer back here. We have another little foam T-45. We have a little Mustang. Again, something my grandpa built me many, many years ago. Uh, we have the set of wings for a B-24 Liberator kit that we started. There's a fuselage. There is all boxes upon boxes back there of brand new airplanes in the box. We have another fun jet. We have two Great Plains Combat Spitfires. We have all kinds of stuff. Down there is a a uh, K KMP P38 all composite UMX B17. We have another helicopter which will be coming soon, which is a KDS 7.2. We have all kinds of stuff in here, and this is basically just my overflow. The wings for the LA7, the, another micro jet, brand new down there. So this is just the closet where I stick everything in that I really am not working on right now, or I really don't have space in the garage because I try to keep the garage clutter free. So that's where everything goes. Oh, and then back here we have, this is my little like bicycle corner, tool corner stuff, but this is a HET F18 that I started stripping down. I bought it from a guy who built it and it was, that's another long, long story, but it was not done properly whatsoever. Tried to make a full flying stab. Long story short, it was completely butchered. So I decided to strip it completely down and start over. And that's where we're at right now. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, I start building airplanes and I run into projects, I run into problems, and I put the aircraft aside. Oh, and back here, there is a uh, P-40 Warhog. As you can tell from here, we have a P-40 back there. So we have a ton of stuff. This video could be two hours long if I tried to go through every single aircraft. I tried to do it as quickly as I could. But... I just wanted to give you guys a glimpse of the hangar. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. It means a ton to me, all the comments and, and the likes and the views and you guys learning from everything that I do. And that means that means a lot. I, I greatly appreciate that from each and every one of you, uh, from the help that I've given out. That's the whole goal from this channel. From the beginning when I started it was to help as many people as I possibly can. And I feel good and I've been doing that. So I want to thank you guys so much for always watching, for subscribing. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell and the subscription. I don't say it all the time, but it does help me out big time. And again, thank you guys for 500 subscribers. So I hope you guys enjoyed my tour of my garage, my hangar, my workshop. Have any co questions, comments, put them down in the comment section below. Let me know if you want to see any particular aircraft of any, or any videos of any particular aircraft. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Have a great day.